Good afternoon. Uh, today we're going to do an end-to-end -end test of all the components and stuff I've built for this car, this electric car conversion, starting with the, uh, there's a motor controller uh, Arduino board inside of that box. I don't have it open right now. Um, it is attached to a drive-by wire uh, throttle pedal out of a Subaru. Uh, that in turn controls the high power switch here. All of this stuff was detailed in earlier videos, but none of it has all been put in line uh, completely. So uh, there's two IGPBTs in there, and they are their pulse width modulation is controlled by the Arduino and motor controller that's inside that box. Again, you can go look at my earlier. Uh, videos to see how that all worked. Those in turn supply power to the forklift motor and the forklift motor is as you know mated to the Volvo transaxle. That can be bolted in the car, this can be bolted in the car, these are bolted in the car. Now the power comes from at the moment just two batteries uh, so we got 24 volts. Those go through a big honk and fuse, and then some contactors. There's a pre-charge circuit uh, that pre-charges that capacitor so it doesn't explode when I turn on the power. Uh, it goes through that middle contactor. When I turn on this 12-volt power supply, that will energize these contactors and close them. The ground one on the right will close. The middle one, which is the pre-charge circuit, will close for five seconds, charging that capacitor. And then finally, the main power, the hot link, will close. And that will supply the IGBTs. Uh, and they will begin to pulse, depending on what commands get sent to it from the Arduino inside of that case, from my throttle pedal. It's all there. So, uh, what I'm going to do, it's, it does still requires a little imagination. Turning on this 12-volt supply is the same as turning on the key in the car. That will supply power to the contactors and the Arduino. When those things go green, uh, I have yet to uh, create a green LED for that, but uh, when those go into on status, all I should have to do is hit the pedal and the motor and the transmission should start turning over. So, uh, here we go. The first end-to-end -end test of everything. It's been a long, strange trip getting here. Let's go ahead, turn on, pretend I'm turning the key. I already heard a contactor go. Another contactor is tripped over, I think. Okay, everything should be live. The three contactors have all gone on. Uh, power should be available. Let's hit the throttle. And the motor is turning and the transmission is turning. It all works. Take my foot off the throttle and it stops. Half throttle. Should do that with my hand. Lesser throttle, slow, full. Off. And there you go. It all works. This stuff's ready to go in a car. Uh, next task, of course, is to find uh, way more batteries, way more powerful batteries. But uh, we're on our way, folks. I uh, just got to finish getting that car ready, pull the engine out, and we can just start going to town. Thanks for watching. Bye.